So this research initiated five years ago and the idea was to come up with an active morphing wing design that can be a future of greener aviation. And the reason is that you can be adaptively changing your shape in flight. One thing that the um, current aircraft are stuck to is that they have a shape and that is generally designed for the flight phase where they stay in the longest, for example, cruise. But actually, uh, anywhere outside of the cruise, this particular wing shape is not the most efficient. Morphing is very important for commercial aircraft in the future because morphing aircraft can make aviation more sustainable. Uh, with a shape that can change and morph in any kind of configuration that you like, that means throughout the flight envelope you can adjust the shape to that particular condition that is needed. It is inspired by nature, the way birds change the shape of their wings in flight. So this was the idea. So one of the challenges was to come up with the uh, morphing design that can be easily scaled. So one thing was to have a design that can be actuated with conventional servos. So you see here one servo, there's one servo, and there is many of them. Uh, this is what happens, is that the servos push and then the um, wing makes the camber change. So this is generating uh, positive camber, generating more lift, generating negative camber the other way around, or we can do it uh, asymmetrically, like that. So we see here the same uh, as I was showing you there. It's, it's all integrated, there is no um, any kind of rods, any kind of panels sticking out, which makes the airflow very smooth and then also allows us to, uh, with this concept, to have indeed this symmetric and asymmetric motion. How does the morphing wing decide how to change its shape? So we have a lot of sensors on board. So there is uh, sensors that measure the airflow. We can probe the quality of the airflow over the camber and thereby uh, decide do we, for example, need to actuate this control surface? Or maybe we need to move the wing into more favorable condition. So I, I think in the future, aircraft can truly fly like a bird, so that can sense uh, the environment around the aircraft and also use distributed morphing actuators to change the shape of the aircraft, such that it can fly like a bird. So what we want in the future is that we at least uh, um, perform this in flight on a civil aircraft. We can save fuel 10 to 15 percent uh, just by active uh, morphing alone and this would uh, be a big step forward in, in my opinion for a greener future. <laughs>